Hi guys, welcome back. So on today's episode, we're going to be talking about one of our brand new launch products, which is the fully synthetic clay block. I'm going to take you outside right now and I'm going to show you how it's used, what it's used for and the full benefit. So what is clay? Clay is a product that is used specifically and exclusively on the decontamination of the cast paint or the glass. Now, if you don't know what contamination is, it is basically things that are not removed during your normal wash process. These things can be anything from tar, iron, overspray, environmental fallout, anything in landings so or tree sap, and probably another 50 things that will eventually embed themselves into the car's clear coat and you can't get them out during the wash. So this is where the job of the clay will come in. So you will have to always use clay in a very similar fashion. The car has to be washed like it is now and this way you are not moving any dirt trapped in when you're doing the claim process. Now with our synthetic clay block as you will see it comes in a very nice packaging as always and within the packet what you will see is first of all a standalone handle grip with a velcro attached clay pad. So on one side where you see the Yumcar's branding, what you will see there is that is where the Velcro will attach to it. And on this side, the most important side is where you see the synthetic clay. Now, what are the advantages of a synthetic clay block over your traditional clay, which has been around for many, many years? Now, with the first and probably the most foremost difference is when you use clay, it comes in about a bar, so 100 gram, 200 grams. You will not use the whole bar, so you have to chop it up into pieces. You have to warm it up and you have to knead it into a burger shape or a putty shape. Now, when, when you're working it across the paintwork, if you happen by accident, to drop it onto the ground and it will pick up rocks, stuff like that. It has to go in the bin. There is no way that you can put that back onto the paint. Now, after the use of clay, the traditional clay, you normally have to kneel back up and put it in the bin. That is it done. So out of a bar, you could probably get three, four uses, depending on how heavily contaminated the car is. Now with a clay block and synthetic clay, what you will find is this block will get up to 40 uses out of one pad. If you do happen to drop it on the ground, so the car's super slick, you're clean, and it just slips out of your hand, it lands face down on this road. What you then do with synthetic clay is you can run this under warm water and you just clean it. That is the beauty of it. And then you're just back in business and you continue your claim process. The sheer size of the actual clay block itself, as you can see, I mean, I've got big hands, so it fits perfectly in the palm of my hand and the surface area means you'll actually get through more of the car quicker, safer. Now, in terms of the safety aspect of synthetic clay, it is a little bit safer. Now, if you are claying the car, I would recommend that do not clear the car unless you plan on doing some sort of polishing afterwards, whether it's hand polishing, machine polishing, because especially on really, really bad cars, you do run the risk of potentially, if you're not using enough lubrication or you do catch a lot of contamination in, in the clay, that you can potentially mar the pain if you don't do it right. Now that is basically the rundown on clay. You are basically applying a face mask like you would to your face and you peel it all off and you're removing your blackheads, any pores, you open up the pores and you are ready to kind of moisturize your face or put any kind of protection onto your face. It's the same thing with a car. Protection does not bond very well to a contaminated clear coat. Now, if you listen, can you hear that sound? That is basically my fingers running over what I call the crunchy. So it could be tar, iron, even just general overspray. Now, if I was to go and put a, a world-class product on here, it may not perform to its full abilities. One, it will not bond to the actual clear coat. It will start bonding to everything that you're trying to remove and the longevity, the look. In fact, by just claying the car, you can actually visually start changing the gloss levels because that way the light is hitting the panel and it's not being refracted by all these different bumps. It should start coming back more into your eye and this is where you start seeing the sharper reflection. Now, once you clear the car, as I'm about to show you, first of all, your washing process 
your drying process is going to become just very enjoyable. Your wash pad is not going to grip. Your drying towels, I'm sure you've all been in this position if you're drying a car that's not been prepared properly. You start hearing a drag and the noises it makes and that's basically the contaminants dragging behind anything that you're putting over it. Now once you do it, it as I said, the foaming, the washing, the drying process, and especially the protecting process, when you start waxing your car or applying new ceramic, it's just nice. Nothing drag, it lasts longer, it looks better and you're just going to live a better life. Now, the fact that this block is brand new, it's out of the packet as you've seen it, I would always recommend that with synthetic clay, you break it in on glass. Glass is harder to scratch than paint. So again, the glass is already clean. In this instance, I have left it dry now. Currently, it's overcast. You can leave the car wet and just spray the UM detailer down. But for the demonstrations of this, I've just quickly dried the car just to show you. So again, the glass is dry, it's fine, but I can feel a few bumps and scuffs. So you can never be too liberal during this process. So as you can see, it's just, there's a couple of beads just starting to run. And just for good measure as well, I'm just gonna give the clay block a couple of sprays. And clay, it doesn't work on pressure, it works on friction. So if you put it down like this and start scrubbing it, doesn't mean you're gonna get any more off than you normally would. What you want to do is look, I'm just letting my hand keep the block in place. It's the weight. However much your hand weighs, that's enough pressure. And look, I'm just moving it backwards and forwards. Now this glass is fairly contaminated. Now what I'm starting to feel right now is the more passes I do, up and down, left to right, the resistance is starting to get less. Now the whole point of this is the clay is now starting to exfoliate the glass in this instance. Now, like I said, I'm breaking it in because it is fresh clay. You don't want to scratch the paint potentially. So this should be more than enough to break in the synthetic clay. So I'm going to take one of our plush towels and I'm literally just going to wipe this off. Beautiful. Now, if the car is still wet, you can re-rinse it and dry it. You can IPA the glass now if you want and the paint too, just to get it ready for the next step. So that is the glass fully decontaminated. And I'm going to use the back of my hand just you can't even hear anything but it's just so smooth now this is perfect because now you can go and take your glass plus for example lay it on it's going to stick properly it's going to look beautiful but most importantly it's going to perform the best now onto the paint same method so i'm going to leave this here now again i mean just you, you can hear it so again i'm just moving I can actually feel the vibration as if I'm driving over a speed bump. So I'm literally just speed. Speed is what you want, no pressure and speed. Now you heard how the car sounded before. See, I'm being way more liberal than you would ever use this when you're drying the car, you're trying to add some gloss, but this is the thing. This process, if you look after the car on your subsequent washes, should only be done once every 12 to 18 months, maybe even less, it depends how and where you drive your car. Now look, I'm starting to pick up less friction. And this is what you want to hear. Now, just out of interest, we're gonna dry this side. Nice and easy. Make sure it's dry. Beautiful. Now see my plush towel is not dragging. It's just nice. This is just what I want to hear and that's nothing. So make sure my hands. Oh yes. Now this is where you would again, if you want to IPA, great. 
you could put your yum ceramic on, you can layer the wax, it's just gonna, oh. This is what you wanna feel. Now, if you want to know, does my car need claying? One simple step, when you're washing your car, you have just say, wash this panel. Your hands are wet, paint's wet. You just do this and you close your eyes. You may look creepy, okay? Your neighbors might think, what the hell's going on? But this way, your fingers are very sensitive and your fingertips especially. You're gonna see if it needs clay. Now, if you feel anything about what I'm feeling right now, which is baby smoothness, the car needs clay. If it doesn't, if it feels like this, it doesn't need clean. So don't think that there's a specific time frame for this. I need to do it every six months, once after summer and once, say, after winter. It, it depends how you look after a car. Some of my cars haven't been cleared in 18 months and I drive them, but I maintain them to the highest of standards. Same thing with this. This car has on purpose not been cleared. And this is just to see the true power but it's just smooth and that's what you want to do. So you just follow this around everywhere. You can clear your wheels, your glass, your wing mirrors, your paint, just do the whole process. It may take you an hour or two, but again, if you do it once, you do it right, you use the right product, it's going to look fantastic. And this is where you can start laying protection to the best of your ability and they're going to look amazing. So. That is our clay block. It has been chased for a very long time. We have even made the edging super sharp so you can literally get right into the corners. You can flip it upside down. It's amazing. Now, what is the maintenance of the clay block? What you can do is you can de-peel it into the two sides again. You can rinse this out, warm water if you want, cold water, it doesn't really matter. And just let it air dry overnight. And then what you do is you can put it back in its packaging once it's fully dry like so and you can store it somewhere somewhere like that on your shelf up to 40 uses it's fantastic you guys are going to love it um, we use this on all our prep details so anything that's light contaminated super heavy contaminated this clay block has just destroyed them all so Hope you enjoy it. I know you guys have been asking for this for a very long time and it's just a fantastic piece of kit. Combine this with the Yum Detailer and you've got the perfect duo of decontaminant and the perfect clay lube. So guys, thank you very much for watching this. I hope you love the new clay block. It is gonna change your life. It's gonna change the way your car looks, the way you look after your car in the subsequent months and hope you enjoy it. Take care guys.